Hello YouTube, this is Alexander again. Um, this uh, morning on my channel I found a special request and uh, this request asked me <coughs> about the millivolt abilities of the, of the Anning comparing to the Fluke and uh, it's a, a good idea for me because I recently do this little component checker uh, which can provide me to compare some uh, multimeters between them by adding just a little uh, uh, spot here for to have a millivolt output so uh, the question on YouTube was was a uh, asked to me by a, a youtuber i won't i forget the name sorry about uh, i think i think especially for this one but uh, so uh, i i make this one for the for the for the comparison and uh, we are going to see with this little stuff uh, with a different uh, range of uh, millivolt if they have the same uh, the same uh, readings uh, comparing of course of uh, with comparing it with the master of uh, meteorology than is uh, the flick so uh, what i'm going to explain here this uh, little device i made uh, yesterday i think yesterday yes uh, was specially used on uh, uh, different sites or on a fly market on flare market for to check any multimeter if you find a good bargain uh, with a multimeter and you know uh, on a flare market there is a lot of scam and uh, of course uh, sometimes you don't have any equipment to test your multimeter if you want to buy one uh, you you, have, you don't have the special special equipment to test it. Uh, okay, you can just uh, plug plug in uh, plug the plug on the multimeter and see if it's uh, display anything on the display. But uh, this is not enough. Sometimes you need to know if uh, some caliber are not uh, destroyed uh, by uh, a very bad. Uh, use of this multimeter. This is the first reason I made this little uh, PCB because with this you can uh, you can uh, check your multimeter if he is uh, able to read uh, capacitance, resistance, and uh, current and voltage measurement. But here for the occasion, I'm just going to use it for to uh, to generate millivolts. And millivolts is a very, very uh, sophisticated uh, caliber because millivolts are very difficult to measure. Uh, I don't talk about uh, external uh, millivolt measure, but I talk about the internal of the multimeter. For to read millivolts, you have you need to have a very high technology on a on a, on a multimeter. So uh, this multimeter have a very uh, sharp. Uh, range Re very sharp display very sharp caliber uh, like uh, the fluke can do this one miss a little digit but this one and this one are not the same this is the 989 9009 uh, po uh, point and this is the 6000 point so this one have a uh, next digit for to read millivolts uh, I think this is the same than this one so what I'm telling here, uh, for to read the millivolts on this uh, device, I just need to connect with a little strap like this one, uh, to connect between uh, the common here, and I can choose so many external uh, uh, peripheric here, but if I want a very very little uh, readings a very low voltage measurement like millivolts i need to to use to use this entry of the resistor uh, measurement here and connect it to the led which here or the current uh, supply here or current or voltage supply and you will have with the, the with the strap here different values of millivolts 
on this resistor. So this resistor like uh, uh, works like a shunt and uh, it's uh, measure in fact the current through the, the battery here and if you chose any different device you will have a different uh, value in external here or also you can have <coughs> sorry also you can have a fluctuating millivolts reading because this LED have a special use and special uh, behavior, uh, it uh, change color, and by changing color, it make a fluctuating current on the circuit, and so you can have a fluctuant, fluctuated current, or you can have a fluctuated uh, voltage here. <coughs> Sorry. So if I plug here the strap. Okay, <clears throat> I need a little repair. I need a little repair to fix it because because this one doesn't work. Uh, I made a little, a little modification and this one doesn't work. I just need to repair it and see you in a few minutes. Okay, the little repair is okay and now if uh, I will retake the movement I okay I switch I plug my little strap on this plug here and I can connect it to the different uh, plug uh, corresponding to the different values of resistor so of course I can plug in directly here but okay this is not the okay this is the, the common but if I plug here I will have a different current uh, through the circuit. So if I plug here, I have a str uh, strong, strong light coming from the SCD. Uh, if I, here I have middle, middle strength, and here I have a very low. You can do you see a very low light coming from this LED and of course this is with this one or like this one here I can use it uh, here I have a uh, fluctuated uh, current but here I have regulated current and this regulated current I can change it by choosing the good resistor I need here for to have a different range of millivoltage out output here so now I'm just going to connect this uh, as a, so I need to connect this like this the best I can because there is no most of lot of place here so they are connected so now we are just going to switch on all the multimeters connected in parallel and okay so uh, all multimeters are, are showing slightly slightly the same uh, value uh, the the fluke here is a little bit offset uh, you just need to know that you are, are here on the microvolt readings. Uh, you can see here the microvolt on this one is uh, exactly zero, and uh, he, uh, here this is not. Uh, here this is the the ten microvolt uh, digit here. So this multimeter is a little bit offset. But okay, it needs a little calibration, but uh, this is not so important for me because I don't need so accurate accurate uh, measurement on my bench or or in my work because we are here on microvolts. Sometimes, sometimes I need uh, very uh, just microvolt, micro. Um, no, I sometimes I just need millivolt on my uh, on, on my work for to. Uh, to make some troubleshootings, I don't need a really microvolt. Microvolt is very, very accurate measurement. So now we are just going to use this trap and connect it in first 
to the output voltage output current uh, to um, the highest the highest resistor here and we can read on the on all the semitometer nearly the same results we are here a very low measurement we are talking we are, to, we are talking about millivolts readings so 27 Eight nine twenty seven uh, eight nine and twenty seven uh, nine one. So we are we can we can think or we can thought that they are very um, very same results. For me, this is the perfect. Okay, uh, we are in uh, millivolt readings, so we are going to. To increase a little bit the the range, okay. This one is out of range. I maybe I need to put it on volt caliber, and this one stay on the same uh, caliber. There's no problem, and uh, we are only uh, always on millivolts here, and uh, it's they are read the same value here. Okay, now uh, I'm just going to use uh, a fluctuating voltage uh, readings by using this um, special uh, multicolor uh, LED. And I just need to connect it like this. If I want a different range, I just need to choose a different resistor, like uh, for example the first. Okay, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but uh, it's uh, glowing a little bit, and you have a fluctuating, fluctuated, uh, fluctuating uh, voltage. The read is very sharp, very quick, uh, as you can see here, and uh, they are nearly the same uh, on, on all those multimeters. So, okay, what I'm doing uh, here is not I'm not searching to kill uh, the fluctuation. What I want to show in this video, as uh, I do in another video with comparing the Fluke and the Annex, uh, it's uh, you don't need extra money, you don't need a lot of money for to make electronic. You can make a very good electronic and be uh, and have uh, lots of abilities with electronic with a simple multimeter like this. Of course a fluke stay the the king of uh, measurements like other brand like Agilent, like k sites like uh, like another lots of an, uh, another professional brand those brand those brands are not professional but you can see they have a very nice measurement for you and uh, don't forget this one costs uh, 15 uh, euro this one cost 20 and this one when uh, at uh, w when it was released cost uh, some th something like uh, 700 dollars 700 dollars for the professional this is not a problem because uh, this kind of multimeter are are, are souvent uh, are sometimes buy by uh, by uh, the manufacturer for the technician Okay, there is a lot of technician able to buy their own multimeter like this, uh, but those ones are very affordable, not expensive, and as you can see here, they can read milli millivolts with a very nice accuracy, and you can you can trust them. Of course, the, the question about your multimeter see, it's how to trust your multimeter, how to trust and why to trust your multimeter. So with this kind of device, very easy device. This device is not a, is not um, is not a, a voltage reference. This is a, a voltage for to compare a multimeter between them and see how the how uh, who is uh, the the multimeter which uh, display a very uh, discord uh, discord display. In this case, the all the value on this multimeter are nearly the same. What we can uh, what we can understand then this uh, uh, this multimeter are nice have a, have a very good behavior 
and uh, because with this little device we can compare them between 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 them of course and uh, so I did this I, I do this with uh, voltage but uh, I can compare them with uh, current or with uh, reading some uh, capacitance or some resistor on this PCB here but I did it in a um, previous video so I, I don't need to, to, to redo that because on another video I just make a comparison with this multimeter for to see for to see the the quick measurement abilities of this one and uh, I use uh, my hold uh, hold uh, hold uh, version of this device for to not to see the accuracy but to see the quick measurement ability this is not the same if you want a pcb like that with a reference voltage reference resistor and reference current you need to purchase it on uh, on the internet and uh, they are correctly calibrated if you want to to see if your multimeter is correctly calibra calibrated here in this occasion I'm not um, I'm not searching the the bad cal calibration. I don't need a very high cal accuracy calibration multimeter. I'm, I don't need that for for my purpose. I just need a good and, and sufficient value for me uh, because I'm okay. I'm a te professional technician. I need a good multimeters for working. But so I'm not a scientist. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a, a NASA scientist, so I don't need a very, very high calibrated accuracy multimeter. For me, this is perfectly enough to, to work very great with, on my workbench. So this is how you can see the millivolt uh, abilities readings of this uh, multimeter. You have here the fluke, the anning, you can see they have the, nearly the same value with uh, with this little PCB I made for the occasion. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, okay for the request. I hope to be to be very clear now with the millivolts before between the innings and the fluke. And um, if you like the video, you know what you have to do. And uh, I tell you, see you soon.